Cards, you have reached level nine. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Cartoon Countdown. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Kenny was the best in South Park. Number 10, Sabotaging Cartman's NASCAR Career. Carmen believes that being incompetent and impoverished means you have the talent of becoming the best NASCAR driver. Kenny takes great offense to this and refuses to let Cartman get away with his insulting beliefs while potentially succeeding as a NASCAR driver. And so, Kenny takes it upon himself to sabotage his friends' races. Though his attempts are unsuccessful, Cartman's career does crash and burn in the most humiliating way possible. Number 9. Picture Day There's always one kid who has to pull something ridiculous for Picture Day, and Kenny has the best idea. For his photos, Kenny has put his clothes on in such a way that his butt ends up where his face should be. Hilarious? Oh, 100%! But the joke stops being funny to Cartman once a couple mistakes Kenny's photo for their missing son. And yes, these grieving parents also have rear ends for faces. Number 8. Working at CityWalk But mommy, they have ice cream. For Kenny McCormick, life is hard. His parents are drunks and there never seems to be enough money for proper meals and a decent childhood. And so, he takes it upon himself to get a job at CityWalk. How Mr. Kim managed to get away with child labor is beyond us. Luckily, he does pay Kenny. With what little cash he managed to earn from Mr. Kim, Kenny buys a doll for his sister. What a sweet big brother. Number 7. Saving Hawaii On account of Butters being angry with everyone but him, Kenny somehow ends up having to go to Hawaii for Butters' Hapanoa. Unfortunately, a series of events leads the Hawaiians to believe that Kenny might bring an end to them, forcing him to prove himself as a Hawaiian. Though he disappoints with his surfing skills, Kenny manages to turn things around with a little bit of help from Elvis Presley and a large supply of beverages. With the Hawaiians having more ingredients for Chi Chi's, Kenny successfully saves the islands. Number 6. Owning in Magic the Gathering if you've ever played Magic the Gathering, you'll know how complex of a game it can become. What with decades worth of cards made since 1993. However, we didn't anticipate Kenny to be the MTG master between the boys. Throughout the episode, Kenny obliterates his opponents with all of the powerful cards in his deck, and he does so with great confidence. Kenny makes it clear that he has the perfect deck assembled, and he is prepared to wipe the floor with you. Number 5. Commanding Heaven's Army All Kenny wants to do is play his brand new PSP and conquer the game Heaven vs. Hell. He's so enthralled with his game that he practically shuts out the entire world, which gets himself hit by an ice cream truck. Surprisingly, his PSP skills will be put to the test as the real heaven is about to be invaded by Hell's army. And so, God appoints him as the commander of Heaven's forces. Basically, Kenny, you are Keanu Reeves. Kenny does not disappoint and manages to fend off Satan and his minions. Number 4. Protecting Karen As we saw in the episode where Kenny works at CityWalk, he is one of the best brothers we've seen on television. An absolute role model. Karen is having trouble fitting into her new school and is about to get beat up by Jessica Pinkerton. Luckily, Kenny comes in to save the day. He not only gives the meanie a taste of her own medicine, but he also grabs Karen to bring her to safety. Big Brother of the Century, folks! Number 3. Becoming a Princess When the boys are playing Game of Thrones, Kenny wants to be a princess. Sounds absurd, yes, but it isn't until much later when we understand why he had this ambition. To aid Kenny and his army in the console war, tech company Sony gives Kenny what he needs to become a true princess. With Sony's medallion, Kenny possesses the powers of a true magical anime princess and proceeds to stop entire shipments of Xbox consoles. We have a feeling this was all just to give Cartman the bird. Number 2. Being a True Superhero When it comes to playing superheroes, Kenny is much, much different than the rest of the kids. See, the kids don their superhero personas because they're simply pretending to be superheroes. 
Kenny, on the other hand, does possess a superpower, being unable to truly die. Under the guise of Mysterion, he actually uses this as a means to legitimately fight crime, acting as the Dark Knight to South Park's Gotham. Number 1. Convincing Satan to Dump Saddam Hussein Meet Saddam Hussein, my new partner in evil. Satan is trapped in a toxic relationship with former dictator Saddam Hussein. Whereas the Dark Lord wants something serious, Hussein wants only one thing. Things take a turn for the worse when Terence and Philip are executed, fulfilling a prophecy that will allow Satan and his army to invade Earth. However, Kenny gets some one-on-one -on -one with Satan a few times, telling him to ditch Hussein so he may live a better life. At the film's climax, Satan finally reaches his breaking point and hurls Hussein off a cliff. As thanks for building his confidence, Satan lets Kenny make one request. No stipulations. Kenny, being the kind soul that he is, simply wishes for everything to return to normal.